Daddy, you go crazy. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Real Montana. Real Montana, what you on, gang? I'm chilling. Welcome I'm to DJ chilling. UTV. It's definitely a blessing to have you. Nice to be here. For sure. Uh, you know, there's been a lot going on in the, in the, in the, in the media lately, you know? Mm -hmm. um, well, you and I, we, we spoke, you know, previously about, about a year ago, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think, I think, I think, I think we, we, we in for a good one, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, Montana, you start by telling us uh, where you're from. Chicago, Ovis, like around 73rd and Jeff. Okay. And I'm from um, Boucher and South Shore, shit like that. Word. So you east side crazy. So you can tell us what it was like for you growing up over east? Um, shit was regular. Like, I had like a regular life, to be honest. Like, the regular kid life. I mean, I was fighting shit, like doing bad shit. That's got, like, I wanted to. But other than that, I had a regular life. Okay. What was your family, family uh, household like? Siblings? Both parents? I got 13 brothers and sisters. Wow. I had both parents in my household, but they, one wound up leaving. Then my daddy wound up here somewhere and shit, so. I had two parent households until the end. So it was all 13 brothers and sisters under one roof? Mm-hmm, at first. Okay. But then like, as like 10 got older, everybody went to say like, with this family member or, you know, wherever they want to go. Okay. And at birth, you were born a, bo a boy, correct? Now see, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing that one. I was born trans. That's what I am. Trans. You born trans. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, trans is a jer uh, a third gender. Is what you're saying? Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm like, if you want to call it a gender, yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, like, you know. At birth is what I'm asking, mm -hmm. you know, when you can't. No, it's, it's different. Like, you get, okay, you get, like, drag queens and shit, then you get, like, trans, you just got, like, crazy people. It's different. Like, you got to actually be, like, medically diagnosed and shit like that, too. Okay. So, most people y'all be talking to be, like, drag queens. Like that. You said we were <laughs> talking about drag queens? <laughs> yeah. 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 For real. Okay, I'm confused. So what's the difference in like a drag queen versus what, a regular trans woman? Like, boom, okay. Drag queen, you got like a drag queen, they like, she like dress up and shit when they want to. Like RuPaul? Yeah. <laughs> That's a drag queen? Yeah. Okay. Like RuPaul. Then you got in between, which is like, they're a boy at night, then they get in drag. I mean, then they're a boy in the morning, then get in drag at night. Okay. Then you got real trans people where they was medically diagnosed, hormones, all this other stuff. It's just, it's a lot that come with it. Right. It's not that you can't just wake up and be like, oh, da da da. But that's what a lot of people do. But it's not like that. Okay. And especially for me, it wasn't like that. So you identify yourself as like 100% trans? <laughs> I identify as a woman before anything. Okay. okay. So, but trans come later. But I'm still a human being, so at the end of the day, I'm a woman. So as far as pronouns go, I am to refer to you, she, her, correct? Okay. Uh, so tell us though the challenges of um, a trans. I feel like, I mean, this Chicago, everybody got their own little life that they gonna live or go, you know what I mean? It's either like, I feel like it's how you grow up and I feel like it's who you got around you, you know, who you know or like, you know, if you got like siblings, it's just like a lot to play in the world. If you just a goofy, like, you know what I mean? I feel like it's just a lot that play in. Some people go through a lot, some people don't. Like me personally, I went through shit cause, like on my own time. Not because like somebody bashing me or trying to fight me on that type of shit or something like that. I just did shit on my own. Just being a child. Versus I seen a lot of other people like, you know, get like picked on and shit like that. But that wasn't the case for me. Right. Which I'm blessed, so. So you never like had any situation where you were like, discriminated against for being? Mm -hmm. I had, yeah, I've been discriminated against, okay. but not like as far as in maliciously. Like I've been discriminated against like trying to get a little job or like, you know, little shit like that or like just judge off my appearance, shit like that. Other than that. Right. 
Uh, so when when you see you know certain things going up on the internet, you know, viral all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Um, I understand there's been false narratives painted on your own name, mm -hmm. you know, something you've shared with me in the past. Um, can you tell us when did you meet Lil J? I don't know exactly when, but it was like, I was on my way to, um, I was fresh out of every grade on my way to being a freshman, so, that was like around like 2012 or something like that. Yeah, 2012. 2011, 2012, around. Like I had been seeing him, but like we started communicating then. You said you was graduated eighth grade. What's, what's your age difference? Like was he around the same age or? Oh, uh, he like, I think he like 30, is he 30 now? I don't know. He was, he was too old than me, he was only a couple of years, like okay. three, four. Not too much. Okay. And how was your relationship then? Like, you know, what type of guy was it to you? He was cool. Like, that's like he was real cool. Like, real, real, real cool. That's how I told you before. Remember, I was talking to him, like, I ain't want to, you know what I mean, say anything because I don't, because I'm like bash nobody or judge. Like, you know what I mean? Because I don't, I don't know, like, this person. I know, like, Jeff. So, I, I ain't want to, like, you know. But I told him, you know, I'm her. So how does he how does he feel about you doing this interview now? Well, see, I don't think he. So you told him. Mhm. Mm you told him you was doing this. Mhm. Mm I told him I um because I ain't wanna like I'm just gonna tell because like I don't wanna, you know y'all see even though like we not together no shit like that like we we was friends like I still you know what I mean so I just had to tell him like shit so you do see it you know don't think like it's that type shit. Right. So what were some of the um, false narratives that were painted on your name? Boom, okay. The time when, I guess the time when he um, went to jail and all that, after that, like, I had, like, stopped really kind of messing with him because then they, like, started getting, like, crazy, 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 crazy. I had stopped messing with him and shit like that. So that time, I, like, he met all these people and all them, or whatever the case may be, I was already, like, over him, done with the situation or whatever. But by me being still dealing with him, everything that like be attached to him and shit will just come back and bite me in the ass. Like shit like, um, like be on the net with him and want to get on there with me or like, you know what I mean? Or thinking they could disrespect me or play with me trying to get to him or some shit like that. And it's not even like that. So that's another thing. Then on top of all this, I never even wanted nobody to know. Even though everybody I already knew I want him shit like that, mess around, whatever. But, I live my life very proudly, so I didn't want, like, I didn't want, like, everybody in my business, 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 type shit. So, that ain't do nothing but, like, just open up a whole can of wine. So then it's like, this people posting me, talk crazy, this, that, that, all type of trolls, this, that, that. Even though I was dealing with it before, it just still, like, triple now. Because it's like, damn. So that's another thing. Like, but it, I don't know how to call it. It's like, it's crazy, but it's like, Cause I had talked to him about it like a couple months ago and he was just like, he understood and shit, but it was just like, I don't know. It's like, people be wanting you to stick shit out, but it's like, I, I gotta say my piece, cause if not, then, you know, I can't let anybody just tell my story from me, cause that's what everybody be doing. So you would say that his situation has like affected your life as well? Mm -hmm. Um, is it because he's still in denial you that it's still affecting you? No, I don't know what it is, just because anything, like anything with him, I guess because like, you know, I just thought he had dealt with him so long, shit, anything with him, they just be like, boom, like even the people you talk to and shit, like they'll try to get into with me, shit like that, all type of shit. Like, so I guess like anything concerning him, like, okay, yeah, let me get this bitch, because I can, you know, yeah. shit like that, or well, trying to get into it with me, play me on the internet, all type of shit, just because. He, you feel me? I don't know like what's going on behind the scenes, but he, you know, fuck with them or you know whatever, da da da. So whatever you be putting there, you know they probably be like, yeah, from the cover, da da da. Regular show. Word. So why do you think? Well, I want to say, um, well, I do want to ask, like, do you think he would um, admit to dealing with trans women one day? Um. I mean, shit, you can't, 
<laughs> like, the, like, like, he know about the video that just came out, right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like, I haven't talked to him. I tell him, um, I haven't talked to him, like, I said it's been like a week or something now, because I only reached out to let him know. Right. Other than that. But I think, yeah, you know, I mean, it's not, it's like business, so shit. You can't, what the fuck, like, you can't. I think he just, like, did it all wrong. That's all. That's all. Yeah. So for yourself? Like, if he would have just, like, then, like, I don't know. Just like if he ain't pissed certain people off, then, I guess, I don't know. It would never came out. But right now they dropping a they dropping a whole lot of videos on Lil J from when he was in jail. Um, it was one with um, somebody sitting on his lap, mm -hmm. and it was another one where he was uh, like choking somebody up. <laughs> You never had any jail time with, with a um, No, I never um, been. That's right. <laughs> See, I never been to the county. Okay, that's good. I only been like to the ID home and little DLC saying child stuff like this. So when I was getting locked up, he wasn't getting locked up like in the county and shit yet. When I came home and stuff, that's when that's, he started getting locked up in the county. I never been in the county like at all, at all. Like at all. all right. So I was never in jail with him. So, but when I was hearing what was going on and I was asking him about it, he was laying and shit like that, you know. But then it's like, then the video, this, that, 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 so it's like, damn. Bro. Do you do you often um, come across men that appear to be straight and like hardcore gangster, but they low key like down low? <laughs> that's not if you if you mess with somebody that's straight, that's not down low. Because if you see if if you attracted to a woman and you hold on, you, you saying if a straight man is messing with a trans woman, he not gay? That's what you're saying? No. Huh? No. No, like that's not what you're saying. Or I'm, saying, <laughs> I'm saying that's not gay, like. Sexuality and gender is two different things. If you see a woman, you attract to a woman, and you think of them as a woman, they're a woman, especially if they're a woman legally, physically, mentally, and all that. How's that gay? If, if you look at somebody with a young seat, you don't think of like no male or nothing. It's not gay. How's that gay? Unless like, you suck a dick and all that. I mean, I guess you could try to say that, but still. But. No. Okay, that's that's different. I never heard. I never. I never. I never. But because that, that's like. That's I mean, yeah, truth, you like, appear to be a woman, but there is a penis. You know what I'm saying? Which is a male. No, but who talking about me? You saying I appear to be a woman? I, I don't, I'm, I'm not. I'm talking about a trans woman. Ah. It. That's how I said it depends. Like some people, like it's true. You got trans women that like don't identify as a woman. You got people that don't identify as male. That's biological male. You got trans women. You got all type of shit. So it's like you can't put a cap on it because that's you got to dig deep into it because that's not it. Like if I like niggas and I look at somebody, right, and I see a nigga, but they was a stud or something or a trans male or whatever the case may be, but I think the nigga and I was attracted to a nigga, what does that, what does that mean? Have you had any, uh, well, tell us about the uh, surgeries you've had performed. But, like what? It's probably, hold on. How, how many surgeries have you had? <laughs> like, like what, three? 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 Yeah. Which, and well, which? Because I had BBL twice. Uh -huh. Okay. So you had two BBLs, a breast job, Mm -hmm. and, and what was the last one? 
You know the last one, yeah. So, so, so what you playing? You know the last one. So, so you had your penis surgically removed. If that's what you want to say, yeah. Okay. Um, what was that experience like? She and like piece of cake. Mm -hmm. Really? They drug you up, put you to sleep. Um, I was young, so yeah. How old were you? Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. So, piece of cake for me. Right. It's just like I get circumcised this guy or something. It was a piece of cake, bro. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't know. Okay. Uh, but that's interesting. Um, so you, you. I mean, I, I guess technically you are a woman. I am a woman. But you technically. say you identify yourself as trans. No, I'm telling you, but I am. I identify as a hypersexual woman. Okay. I told you I'm a woman before anything, and trans come, lit, you know, next. Okay. If you want to dig deep into it. But okay. at the end of the day, I'm a woman. I identify as a woman. I live my life as a woman. I'm a woman. Word. That's what's up. So, just learning more about Red Montana, though. Uh, tell us where you get the name Red Montana from. My name always been Red, because since I was young, my mama got, um, gave me the nickname Red. But my name been Red since I was young, and I used to wear Red hat lot too. So, DM Montana came from that little um, Taylor Gang era and all that, Tony Montana shit, all that, back in the day. That's what that just came from. And I like the Hannah Montana too, so. Right. And, and what's some, what's some um, hobbies or interests of Red Montana? I'm doing, I'm taking music and shit more serious. I was doing modeling. But I could put more time into music and stuff now. That's why I was telling you I didn't want nothing that shit like evolved around me and shit like that because I be having other stuff going on, like up outside and stuff. So my personal life is like real private. So I don't be wanting like this to overspill this. Or like these people looking at me crazy because of what this person got going on or this and third or like associate me with some shit that, um, you know, that I don't too much even deal with. Well, you know, but the music, that shit might turn you up. You know, drama sales. Yeah, it do. But I'm so, like, I'm so conservative, so proud. Like, I just don't, I'm so, I'm tired of it. Like, since I was young, I was going viral in there, this, that, 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 all that. That shit just be like, damn. I just get tired of, like, that particular shit. Like, that was something that, like, really, like, f***ed with me because this is something, like, I hear really, really genuinely f***ed with, you know what I mean? And seeing everything like play out in your ass like being, you know, you just have to suck it up. What were some things you was going viral for in the past? They're like looking fat pictures or like people trying to expose me, real shit like that or just like crazy anything. But mostly just pictures and like people trying to expose me, pictures, fashion, health, stuff like that. What? When we did the uh, interview, we did an interview with uh, another trans woman, Miss um, Toxic. She said, trans is the new black. If you like me, you're going to like me, regardless. And then instead of seeing it work. So, this is like, trans is the new black. Okay. Like, 2023. All over the TV screens. So who got time to like really treat people? I don't have time for it. That's dangerous, first of all, and then it's not like this subject ain't trending. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I could see how you. I mean, like I said, you got people that wake up one day and be like, "I'm this, I'm that," so shit. But you got so? people one day wake up and be talking about they black, or did she mean in a different way? I don't know. I'm asking. I mean, shit. I don't know. I guess because like everybody want to be black, so she's saying like everybody want to be. I mean, I, get, I mean, cause it's like you got like people. That's what I'm saying. Cause you got like people like just like, just like waking up like I'm this, I'm that, and that ain't the case. You know what I mean? Like boom, if I see you today. Now you go today. You go home to say, you feel me? You go home to say. You go home tomorrow. Do your whatever you gotta do. Be like boom. I'm trans today. Da da da. da. It's like hell. 
So you're saying people be doing that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like people be GD today, be tomorrow. People be this today, this tomorrow. Yes. Uh, yes, like, yes. That's, that's just, I guess that's how life is. Um, you mind tell us who you got on the couch with you? <laughs> this, this my homie. This nah, my homie. is this a... No. Uh, this a what? This, this game. <laughs> This game. This game. Okay. But they say uh, today over 1.4 million people in the U.S. identify as trans. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, would you say that it's becoming like a, 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 a trend? Yeah, like popcorn. Like it's a trend. Like it's like some just hop on, or like some people feel like they can get attention from. Like if I put on a wig, I can get attention and come out with this, or like play with this. And that offends a lot of people that's really, really... You have people that you would have never known was trans ever. Or whatever the case may be. Like, it's, it's, it's the deeper than what the fuck people, like, making it is. That's all. Like, and it ain't cool to play people like that. Like, if I... Just like with gangs and shit, you can't wake up and say you this and wake up and say you that. They're going to tweak with you, right? You can't play with nobody like gender, they, race, none of that. Did you grow up gang bang? <laughs> You mentioned it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did my little shit. I didn't feel it. I did my little shit. Okay. But by the time I got to like shit, I say 18, I was just like, I just wanted some money, like more money. So I wasn't really on all that. Okay, so in your game banger days, your teenage years, were you Man, one of the girls or one of the guys? I was about to stop you me. I was born one of the girls. Okay. Yeah. So, um, nah, because I'm trying to just picture, like, was you always, like, girly? Like, mm -hmm. you grew up girly? I was always me. Like, I was okay, always... Okay, so you ain't never had, like, no transition where, you know what I'm saying, you... Nah, I'm not just saying nah. Right. Nah. Okay. So, nah. Okay, cool. That's what I'm saying about, like, people you got... Know. Yeah, like, you got right. different things. Like, some people got to go through that. Some people got to, you know what I mean? Some people just born. Like, you know, like, for example, the white one. I think her name Jazz or something like that. They got to show up that hunch like that. Some people just born like that. Mm. Like serious born like that. And I'm speaking from existence. Dwayne Way, uh, so do it, what do we call it? I forgot about her. Uh -huh. What's her white one? It's some white one. Yeah. I mean, I don't mean to say that in a bit, but it's, <laughs> it's a Caucasian one. <laughs> so, when you get, when you, so when you gave up the game banging style, you said you started, you know, making hustling, making your own money? Mm. Well, well, I was already hustling, but I just want the things I wanted to do. I couldn't do that if I was like, you know, want to be around streets and shit like, you know what I mean? That's what I mean by that. But I was still like dipping and dabbing here and there. I mean, I want to have fun. Right. What's fun about hanging out in the streets? See, your friends and shit like, um, like your friends. See, I be happy. You know I, mean? I just like to be around my friends. When you was getting arrested and going to the uh, Audi home as as a, as a as a child, what was it for? I had caught a gun case and then I was a booster, so I had them two cases and that was just it. Boosting was a lifestyle. It was a hustle and a lifestyle. I say more of a lifestyle though because I did it every day, and then like on top of that, like I was known for it, so it's like. It became my lifestyle. That's why I said by the time I turned 18, I wanted to do something else. Like, I just wanted to put all that shit behind me. Can you tell us about one of your best boosting days? <laughs> I can't tell you about my best, like best one. Story. I can't tell you about my best one. But I had one when I dipped up at this store downtown. I ain't gonna say what store, but I dipped at this store downtown. And I guess, like, I, I don't know, for some reason they feel like all boosters look alike or like, oh, what's the kind of da, da, da. I got up at the store with my little shit, but like the next day, it was on the news and all that, but the next day they had wanted to catch somebody else for it and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, that was the only reason. But the big, big thing I ever hear like was like a lot of purses. Like, I like to get a lot of purses and I like it to get like shit that's gonna sell. Like shit that's like over at least 500. Or like if I'm doing like the, the petty shit, it'd be like from like JB's. Or little shit, motherfucker, win. How many times you got caught? One. Just one? Mm-hmm. And that, 
But me already having a gun case though, when I got caught for that, that's what just made it worse. Because like, mm. they let me they let me go for that. But I was on house for like that, but it caused another case. I was on probation and all that. So. Well, and so you gave up that lifestyle when you when you mm -hmm. grew up, turned eighteen. That was what what was the change what was the turning point at age eighteen? Um, cuz it was just like I start cuz like I had start like going behind in school. I had to start like it was just like getting big, like but it's like going to be like what you can do with your life. Like and that ain't the life I here wanted. Like I even I even had to start going to school at the courthouse and shit. Like they got a little court uh, um a school upstairs from the argument in the courtroom, whatever. They I had to go there. I wasn't doing that. Like I just want doing what I was supposed to do. And I suffered a lot for that. Like a lot. And you can't make up time, so that's how I was just like, damn, I gotta chill out. And then I calmed down and I here just got it together. And then like shit just started to fall in place for me. And to start a shit start happening. So what's uh what's 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 your um every day now, you know, your day to day? What's the day to day for Grand Montana? She I be the I be with my friends, writing, take um taking pictures. Just looking at um, what the fuck my goals is, writing down my goals, my plans, my fruit and shit like that. Mm. Trying to make it out, actually. Like, I've been in Chicago all my life. Like, I want to. I know it's more shit out there, because I done seen, like, I done, damn near, I done seen this shit about me growing up and hustling and shit like that, but I'm ready, like, to be out of country. Like, you know what I mean? I don't really want to live here no more, type shit. You want to you wanna relocate out the country? Mm hmm. Right. That's, that's deep. It's like, I don't see no point in me moving. If I'm, I feel like I don't see no point in me moving from here, like, unless it's big, big. I don't feel like no point in me moving to no other state, because shit is like, it's a state. Besides uh, moving to another country, are there any other, like, uh, short-term goals or aspirations you, you look forward to? Yeah, uh -uh. like I said, the music, the fashion. I want to be a full-time model, though. Like on the runway, how did like real, real, real modeling? So like America's I, Next Top, you know, type of thing. Like yeah, like I want to do that in rich. It's like I want like at like on top of each other basically. But even though I got a patch from music, I just want to on top of each other basically because let's go hand to hand. A model, a model and a rock. It's possible. What's the pros and cons of having a BBL? Mm, depending, uh, depending on like your your health and like what you eat, like you know, like a lot of girls got like be having like thyroid problems, a lot of problems, basically like complications that they already be having before they go get it and shit. So that be causing more shit. I haven't had no complications, thank God. And other than that, I like too much know is like some people. Be having like it be like hard and shit like that. Other people don't, but I don't really know too much complications. Cause I haven't went through it. And people that do go through it, they don't say nothing. So it's like they won't really never really tell you. But so you had two of them, mm -hmm. meaning like you had to go get more work done to the first one. Not like necessarily go get it done because I was so young. Like when I started off, I went the illegal way. So when I stepped into like the, the big people field and shit, I had to like do certain shit to like, you know, for them to fuck with me. So that's how that went. Like you know how like a lot of scrippers and stuff, like they go get air shots and shit like that. And then when they get that BBL, they gotta do this, do that. That's basically what it was. You a former dancer? No. What's the difference between the ass shot though and the um uh, and a and a BBL? The BBL is the fat, the air shots is like the silicone. Like breast, I mean like butt implants. That's what I mean. Butt implants. No, you both sides, same thing. Okay, boom. Okay, you got it like, you got butt implant. Is the silicone inside? It's inside this little big thing, which is supposed to be in. The other one is liquid silicone, where it's just loose, and then it's supposed to be inside. So then the BBL is just like the fat, where they take fat from the LL and just put it back there. Right, 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 right. But for the um. For the for the young ladies that's watching, um, or even um, the trans community that's watching, you know, 
Um, is there a message you'd like to leave for the youth? I don't do y'all shit. Like, it's actually, it's like been a lot of youth killing themselves and stuff. Like, actually, like one of my little cousins just killed himself. Rest in peace to him. Um, I just feel like just do y'all. Like, don't let nobody, like, fuck your life up because you only got one life to live. You, you don't get your time back. That's the precious. It's here, time precious. You don't get none of that shit back. Nothing. Like, if I wish I could go back in time and do a gang of shit over, I would. Like, I hope and pray like I could go back in time, but you can't. So I just feel like just do you, stand on you, and stay true to yourself, because don't nobody else really matter. Like, for real, for real, don't nobody else really matter. That's what's up. You got, um, you got some regrets from the past? Mm -hmm. For real? Yeah, I was in the streets real big, like real big, like real big. So, 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 so would you say you fighting some demons? Yeah, y'all could say that, yeah. For real? Mm -hmm. Then, I had the last thing that happened to my head, like a big case and shit that was all over the news, like 2018, that I still like, that still fuck with me to this day, or whatever. But, and people on the outside were judging, you know, what was really going on and shit, just like making their own assumptions and stuff. Not knowing like what I went through with that shit. And that made that opened my ass to a lot of things. Like uh, I seen I started seeing the whole the world in like a whole different way. Based off how your people was treating you or No, based off of the situations, the um situation that I went through, the stuff I regret, based off all that. Right. So how do you deal with it now? I be high. Like I be I still be, <laughs> I be high. Like I I be high. Or I just try not to think about it. But at the end of the day, shit, I think about it. I try not to be alone. What they say, idle mind, devil playground? I try not to be alone. Or I try to keep laughing and shit like that. Most of the time, I be happy. Like, happy. You ever think of like, um, more like positive ways to cope with your stress though? Mm -hmm. Like probably like going to the gym or something? Yeah, I ain't know that. I, I mean, I thought about going to the gym. Don't you gotta keep thought. that BBL up? Don't you supposed to work out? So like, it does. It does. It depends who you is. Shit, you know uh, some people just get good genetics. Uh, so like some people don't, don't gotta work out. Like you know how some people stay slim. Like you will see a motherfucker. Like you went to school with or something, and they still skinny. And you like, damn, you still got like a thirsty yo. You grown as hell. Shit like that. Some people just like don't must have an ass Then you got other people that been here to work out. So it's like when you get, you got of course you gotta work out. But I don't really too much workout. I got to work out. Because the thing with the drugs is, you know, it's been a lot of, like, fentanyl going mm -hmm. on. See what I'm saying? So, I'd be concerned, you know. Yeah, I'd be concerned about that, too. But it's like, at the moment, I ain't gonna let the moment I don't be. But afterwards, or like, you know, before, I'd be like, you know, I think about that a lot. Cause, but I feel like, is that with perks, right? I think that's more like of a perk thing. With fentanyl? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so now you put it on anything. Not like you can put it in anything, but the ones they've been like down from, like perks, right? and it's been like perks. Oh, yeah. So don't come over here with the X on it. Leave that. <laughs> and I'll do perks. I be popping X sometimes, so I be in my head like, okay, this ain't no perks on. Um, you know, yeah. then I shop with only one person for like years. So hopefully, um, you know, but I don't really, I, I don't try to think about that. Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't really try to think about that. I just be trying to. Move on. Yeah, well, you know, that's the reason why I bring it up, you know. But I am, I, um, it's not cool. I ain't saying like go pop pills with drugs, da, da da I'm just saying like some people just like, that's just tell them how people cope with stuff, some, you know. Well, all it takes is one pop, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's all I just wanna, you know what I'm saying, make aware just because, yeah. you know. I, I've had family members that, that overdosed on drugs, you know what I'm saying? So all it takes is one time, yeah. you know, that could be the last time. And see, that's the thing. I forgot about that part, too. I forgot you can't overdose. Yeah, for sure. Because when you remember, you don't be thinking about that. Like, you be just like, damn, let me get high real fast. Because, like, we, you, it's like, because you can't really overdose on weed, you know? So it's like, people feel like, shit, they smoke weed every day or, like, smoke weed back to back, shit. They could do this, you know what I mean? Do this back to back and they ain't going to do nothing but whole time. It be way strong. For sure. For sure. But any uh, 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 shout outs or closing remarks you'd like to leave the people? <laughs> um, shout out, shout out. 
I'm going to shut out Yaya, yeah, yeah. and I'm going to shut out Candy. I'll fuck with them. Yeah, like, yeah. long, long way. But other than that, you know, if I'm just chilling, I got some music dropping and shit like that. And eyelash are dropping, fashion dropping and stuff like that. So this is how Tony and women. You got some, you got some bars? Yeah, I mean. Oh, shit, <laughs> Yeah. That's how I say I could do music more now, because the other shit I was doing, I couldn't. No, I couldn't I'm saying, You can spit some bars for us right now? <laughs> That's what I was asking. No, I'm saying. But that could look me up on YouTube or something. Okay, well, Rare Montana was definitely a blessing um, chopping it up with you tonight. You too. So, um, we go, you know, we go wrap, we go wrap this Lil J, you know, situation up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's evident, you know, that, you know, he, he got a thing for who he got a thing for, you know? <laughs> so, like, I was like, how do, okay, so how do, like, how, like, I don't know, like, do people be thinking, like, how they, like, had, like, how do it affect people? She, like, you think, like, you know what I mean, how it's going to affect his life, or, like, you know what I mean, or, like, because people make stuff so big, like, doing, like, doing crack. People make, like, doing crack so motherfucker big to the point, like, it affect other people, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, people, just like I used to, like, people be killing their something, like, what if, like, you know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. How That's how you reacting I mean. to it is what you're asking? Hmm? You saying, like, what, like, how he'll feel, or? Yeah, like, you know. Gotta ask him. Like, <laughs> not like, cause like, okay, if I came home and I let like, I'd be like, Dent. like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, she a heart, like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, it's I mean, hard. I think, I think the, you know, the biggest thing with, you know, the sad person is, uh, you know, his, the image that he portrayed, you know what I'm saying? Um. And then, you know, it's a, you know, a uh, homosexuality rumor that's been going on for years, you know. It's a lot of fans that's invested in but what he got saying, going on. Cause they, yeah. I'm trying to say, cause they been like, like this, so, like, I guess like, so I'm like gay this, I, like, I mean, I'm not saying it's not coming down now because, it's how I said, because once he started like doing this, doing that, doing that, people was fans of him and shit like, they you know what I mean? So they was just on one name out for shit. I ain't gonna lie, his situation, I ain't even trying to be funny, I'm being for real, like, kind of remind me of, like, R. Kelly. I said that, didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? It's like some type of survivor R. Kelly, and, like, I'm dreading, it's not that, <laughs> like, it's not that. <laughs> like, they be, also, they be knocking on my mother, though, no, they hear, bitch, you fuck with him, right? Ooh, <laughs> damn, I mean, like, damn, I don't know, somebody ran up on you like that before? Yeah, they ran like, up, yeah, they be. Oh, I be, I be having so many inbox, so many cars. Like, oh, no, you said somebody beat your way. Nah, not literally, but okay, they be saying. knocking down my door. Like, damn, yeah, bitch, you f my nigga. Da, what up? Da, da, da. You know how? Just like how you, you feel me? You got a bitch, and you feel me? You got other little bitches and shit like that. They be trying to probably knock on her noggin and shit like that. You know? And they ain't nothing else. Like, anybody that deal with him, they always come for me. I'd like, or I always like say something with me. Or I don't know what the fuck you be telling them what they be, you know, communicating. But it's always something. Yeah, because when, um, you know, when you was brought to my attention, that's... Right, because I saw that for how you... What? They was like, shit, you need to holler at Red Montana. That's really who he... <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking like, about. Like, that's his love. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> that's what I'm talking I mean, no, no more. I, I'm not going to say love, but, like, I have a lot of love for him as a person, as a human being. Don't get me wrong, but as far as, in, like, on that level, and I don't think it'll ever and be that again we tried and they, you know. so i don't know but i still like i'm cordial you know what i mean i'm not a, no i just wish him the best whatever you do that's how i just wish that i wasn't dragged in it right so do you feel better though like now that you've been able to you know say your piece you oh, know what yeah, I'm saying? i still feel the same i feel like first of all i feel like people they're gonna steal whatever you know what i mean they're gonna steal Drag it on, play with him, whatever they want to do. You right, know what I mean? Right. Um, about me even sitting down with you right now. You know what I mean? I don't know what that's going to do. For, you know what I mean? For me. Or like what people going to come to me or what people not going to. You know what I mean? But I was truthful. That's how. Yeah, sure. And I just kind of speak my piece because I don't want to be like, you know, I just don't. Everywhere I go, like, I'm known for other shit. I don't be known for that. Like, I'll be in a party or somewhere like. In a store or something, da da da, they like, oh, that's DJ girlfriend. Da -da. What the fuck? I'm not, like, no. No, no, more or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, no. For sure. Um, 
Who knows where it come from, it, you know? Um. Yeah, it's like, if you ever dealt with a bitch and like she was an eater, but you feel me, that was your bitch, you, ain't, you know what I mean? And that all the niggas say like, damn, you. <laughs> That ain't obviously like, exactly, that's the same, it's the same thing. Y'all be, be just sitting there like, damn, like, damn, because it's like, really, this one no joke for me. Like, this one no, you know what I mean? No hee hee ha ha, this, that, that, that shit. One, like, this is really my life. Like, this is something I had invested in time with, all type of shit, like. So, I was like, I was her bad, yeah, but I'm gonna f that. But I was her bad. But it's just a stepping stone and something that prepared me for the future. For dinner with men or whatever, anyway, period. But it was real. I, I thank him for the experience just to open my ass to a lot of shit, but other than that, he had just really had fuck with me. It makes sense, because you say, you say you've known him since you was real young, mm -hmm. 13 or 14. Mm -hmm. So, so y'all got like a 10 plus year relationship. Mm -hmm. Almost 20, right? That's what's up. Once again, Red Montana's definitely been a blessing with, uh, you know, chopping love with you tonight. You too. Um, shout out to Word T Productions. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Red Montana, let them know what, 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 what to follow you at. Check out your music. Uh, you can follow me at Red Montana on uh, Facebook, yeah, little platform, but Instagram, underscore Ben Bear with one E. And then I got some shit to probably drop it tomorrow. I got a lot of little shit. You just got to tune in. You got some shit I can play right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, for real. <laughs> What's that? Like what? Uh, you go, you too. I think it's on. Well, it's here or something. What I type in? Red Montana? Mm hmm. I got a 2 million up remix on there. I got this song with Yaya the Girl. Yaya, what's coming up? Up which, on there. Which one's gonna be play? Yeah, that's how I see You say 2 million or what? I got a two million up remix on the this other song just going on Yaya up on the okay, I had a couple of music. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Cause we heard this he felt like I did something, but I didn't I was just saying like I said he just didn't fuck me, that's how. If we lock in, ain't no switching up. No. Bitches want to get some, now they cook. Mm. Ain't no switching up. No. Bitches want to get some, now they cook it up. Mm. Like, you want to fuck with me, but hey, I'm rich enough. If I pull up on that block, how you bitches get in touch? I ain't with the capping, bitch, you know I get it cracking. Got you crying on them posts, now you asking me what's happening. Bitches say they got it, acting like they really trapping. I be doing around. Go crazy!